I can only apologise for, for the situation. Just 24 hours ago, Neil Parrish was insisting he would stay on as an MP, despite being named as the man who watched pornography in the Commons. But now a U-turn, a resignation and a shocking admission. The uh, situation was that, that um, I, um, funnily enough, it was tractors that I was looking at. And um, so I did get into another website um, that had a sort of very similar name. Um, and I watched it for a bit, which I shouldn't have done. But my, my crime, my biggest crime, um, is that on another occasion I went in a second time. And that was deliberately? And that was deliberate. And, and was uh, that in the Select Committee or in the Commons Chamber? That was uh, sitting, waiting, waiting to vote. Speaking in the Commons last week, Neil Parrish today blamed a moment of madness and said he wasn't trying to intimidate women through his actions. But after the accusations of what happened in here were first made on Tuesday, there was unhappiness in the party that Mr Parrish stayed silent. Senior Tory MPs say it shouldn't have taken three days for the culprit to be identified and suspended. It's a shame that it took till Friday afternoon before the name was known. I know uh, of colleagues who uh, were, the suggestions were made, it could have been them and the, and the trauma they've gone through. Um, it would have been much better for everybody if the whip had been suspended immediately. There'll now be a by-election to choose a new MP for this Devon seat in the leafy southwest. It has a large Conservative majority, but after a series of government scandals, opposition parties will be campaigning hard. I'm just horrified, really, that someone would do such an inappropriate, kind of bizarre thing in such a reputable institution as the House of Commons. I'm a radiographer. Other radiographers have been suspended for such behaviour. He's just got caught, but he shouldn't have been doing it in, in, the, in the place of work anyway. Don't matter where you are in working, I just don't feel like... It should be seen, especially there's women around. Back in Westminster, the resignation has come at the end of a week where sexism in Parliament had been in focus anyway. Ministers insisting today they'll work to strengthen the rules to root out bad behaviour. Now, I'm not satisfied if anybody coming to work in Parliament, whether they're a staffer on the estate, whether they are a member of Parliament, feels uncomfortable or threatened or harassed. And that is right that we look to strengthen the processes, those protections for victims, people that might have experienced that. Neil Parrish said today he was standing down because of the damage being done to his family and his constituency. In reality, the most deep-rooted impact this affair will have may be on public trust in politics itself.